Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we're going to be doing is quickly taking a look at the uh, relaunched Manjaro Web Discover Center. Uh, shout out to Jason here for tagging me and a bunch of other people. In this Manjaro announcement, it says, we just relaunched our web software center for Manjaro Linux. Now they say relaunched, I never knew about this before. I don't know if I haven't been around long enough or what, but apparently, this was a thing that already existed before. Uh, when I go ahead and look around, I search for Discover, there's really nothing on the forums about it. The only mention of it is this tweet right here. If we go to their uh, subtopic for it, a lot of this stuff is old, so August 2020, the latest thing is uh, April of 2021. So not really too much discussion on the Manjaro forum about this, however it is just relaunched, so we'll see. And this right here is their GitLab page for it. You can see, really not much information here on the uh, README, but it was updated just 15 hours ago, fixing the body backgrounds. So if we open up the source, we could see that this is written primarily in Python. And other than all that, that's basically all the background information I have on it. And this right here is their Discover Software Center. Now, if we go ahead, let's scroll down and find an application here. Let's say uh, the Disk Usage Analyzer right here. Let's give that a click, open it up. One, it's a beautiful application. And I do like what they did with the scheming with how the screenshots are integrated into this. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the uh, Flat Hub website and how you could view packages on there. If we go ahead and scroll down, looks like we just have the simple description. We have the licenses, the current version, the download size, a link to more information on the specific application. And then we have uh, links to go ahead and install, or not links, we have the commands to install with Pamac, so this is probably integrated into their uh, package management system, not to be confused with Pac-Man. Now if I hit details here, okay, so it gives us some more information, the latest build date, the packager, uh, the software packages it depends on, as well as the uh, make dependencies. It doesn't look like there is a, a direct way to install it on the actual app page. So that looks like something that is needed. If I go ahead and go back a step and right here we see a plus, so add to install. If we go ahead and give that a click, uh, allow a website to open the web PAMAC link. I'm gonna always allow it, choose application. Uh, let's go with the web software installer, open link. And there we go. So it's opening up the uh, PAMAC software installer. Type in our password. And down here, let's view the deets, the details. All right, transaction summary. So here we have all the different things that it's gonna upgrade. Uh, it's probably gonna need to update my system. So that's uh, one thing I haven't done in a while. So let's hit apply. And there we go, that's pretty cool. So while it does that, let's go ahead and down here we have a menu. We have clear search, search and the actual menu. If I hit the menu here, we got a nice little uh, mascot character guy here, uh, Discover Software Center, view, search, and install software. So we have regular applications, snaps, and flat packs. So if I do click on flat packs, you can see it's going to forward slash flat packs. And we have Minecraft, Discord, just a bunch of different popular flat packs. I wonder, let's open up Discord real quick. By the way, uh, down in the description, you can go and join the Tech Hut Discord server if that's something you're interested in. So this just runs the Flatpak install, so this doesn't go through PAMAC, it goes through the actual uh, Flatpak installer, so that's cool. Back on out of there. And of course, we have a lot more stuff that you'd expect for Flatpak, Spotify, Steam, uh, popular applications, as well as unpopular ones. So let's open up that menu again. Uh, we have snap packages as well. And then here we have again, like Spotify, Discord, and a bunch of other different uh, snap packages. So let's go ahead and open that up again. It looks like we had some uh, frequently asked questions. So installing it, not working. It worked for me just fine. But if it's not working for you, okay, so this is the web installer URL handler. So if you're on an older version of Manjaro or just a uh, installation that doesn't have it by default, you could go ahead and install this to get this working if you are interested. Uh, what package, what are the package formats? So here it kind of runs down uh, native packages, flat pack, snap, and app images. So app images might be something that would be included later. That would be cool to see. Uh, how do I install locally? So let's give that a click. And it doesn't look like this link is working quite yet. 
Do remember this was just relaunched, so there might be some things here and there. Uh, the last updated version, which was yesterday, and it does look like we have the uh, primary developer here, Vitor, Vitor, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, and the Manjaro developers. And then here is that link. This is where I found the uh, original GitLab link right here, was actually through the software center. And this right here, this is your primary developer. And for our software installation, it looks like, has this finished up over here or is it currently installing? It might've gotten a little hung up because I haven't updated this thing in forever. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that out for now. One thing I do wanna test real quick is the uh, search functionality. So let's go ahead and look up Caden Live, see if it comes up. Okay, so Caden Live Video Editor. Um, it doesn't look like it, well, let's see, let's see. So let's open this up. Um, awesome screenshot here. And this is done through Snap, so that's a, uh, oddly particular that the only result showing up is the actual snap package when I know Caden Live has both a flat pack and it's actually probably especially compared to snap you should probably install the uh just the native installation of Caden Live flat pack isn't too bad though but let's search that again real quick and click this plus let's do add to install and always use this open link web installer snap install Caden Live type in our password Looks like we got an error. Cannot perform the following tasks. Uh, connection reset by layer. Set up snap D, so I don't have snap D. So there are some things, it, it's new, but it's pretty cool. I am liking what I'm seeing here. Overall, the UI is pretty nice. Um, it might look a little laggy on your guys' end, but that's just because this is a virtual machine. But yeah, that was my first look at this uh, discover.manjaro.org. Uh, online software center to browse, discover, and if you're on Manjaro, install packages. Uh, with all that, I'd love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely fantastic, and thank you to anybody else who watches these videos. Um, yeah, have a beautiful day. This will be linked down below if you're interested, and goodbye.